Hey what's up you guys, it's your senpai back with another video and today we are going to talk about the basis of cataracts in diabetes mellitus. And this is going to be a short video and I'm here I'm going to explain how diabetes mellitus and high glucose levels in blood can cause cataracts. Welcome to my channel. In hyperglycemic conditions such as after a meal, insulin is increased and when insulin is increased it stimulates uptake of glucose by insulin dependent tissues, adipose and skeletal muscle via glucose transport 4. So the increased blood glucose level is lowered and blood glucose level is maintained. But in diabetes mellitus type 1, there is an absolute deficiency in insulin. Therefore it, there is an elevation in blood glucose level. Hence increased levels of blood glucose enters into non-insulin dependent cells. Elevated intracellular glucose concentration and the adequate supply of NADPH cause aldosterone reductase to provide a significant increase in amount of sorbitol and this is catalyzed by the reaction aldose reductase and sorbitol dehydrogenase. But sorbitol dehydrogenase is absent in certain cells such as the retina, lens, kidney and nerves. Sorbitol cannot pass through the cell membranes. Therefore, sorbitol accumulates in the cell. Sorbitol has an osmotic effect. It drags water into the cells. Water retention causes swelling and bursts of cells in the lens. This causes cataract. Diabetes also leads to pathological phenomena such as peripheral neuropathy and microvascular problems leading to nephropathy and retinopathy. And that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. And I hope you learned something. Uh, make sure to check out my website senpaisimplified.net and uh, check out my socials and how to support my channel all links down in the description i have made a quiz about this topic so if you want to try that out you can go ahead um, click the link in the description as well and thanks for watching peace